Hey what's up guys on the penalty of technical analysis so let's go through today's RSI for the one hour chart we have a RSI of 59.21 looks like it's starting to curl down so they are probably going to push the stock down a little bit for today until next week's earnings then I think it's probably going to do something like uh, what SoFi did um, I'm not saying that it will sell off but it's very possible that it might do something similar but I I'm, I'm not going to wait for that I'm not going to say what you should do but um just be prepared for that right so the next thing i want to say um is that the macd is starting to curl down so what we're probably going to see today and i might be wrong on this is that we're probably just going to do this right we're probably going to just trade between this range uh my intuition is that you'll likely go down but uh it's probably going to end up at uh, around this range um and then the earnings i would say they're probably going to be pretty good i'm not going to be concerned about their earnings and it's probably gonna it's probably gonna move up not financial advice so that's the pattern for today it's probably gonna do the same thing as it did uh, last week here so you know same pattern different week and it's gonna be you know probably like this for a pretty long time just looking at what they're doing so far right now um just you know looking at the the, the similarities between the palantir's uh, investor base and so investor base it's very similar and that's also the same thing with that institution as well i think they're going to do the same thing they're going to manipulate these stocks for some reason i don't know why for some reason they really really hate these stocks uh, maybe they consider they consider them a meme stock i don't know but in time these companies will prove them wrong and i'm going to say right now i think uh palantir in general is probably going to be in everything uh well not everything uh most of uh the companies um and so far is probably going to expand their bank internationally and they're going to kill it and they're going to do very well and i'm not worried for either of these companies in the long term um so yeah those are my thoughts uh for pound here and the next thing i want to go through actually is also the uh oh i just cancelled that tab there uh, also the uh, options pricing for pound here so just look at uh you know where they're possibly headed I'm not saying that this is going to be accurate. I'm, you know, the options guys are probably wrong more than they are right. But um, this is for February 2. So this is uh, today, um, ending today. It looks like there are a lot of calls here. Um, there is 13,000 open interest, sorry, volume um, in uh, at $17. And then more open interest in $17.50 and $18 as well. I'm not going to say that penalty is going to hit that. I actually think this is a very low likelihood. But what I want to look at is actually next week here. So next week is going to be what's important. And you'll notice that there is a lot of volume on the call side, way more than there is on the put side. So it looks like even the options guys are very, very bullish on the stock. And I think I tend to agree with them. Now, we did see, I think, so far uh, call or, or the options guys get absolutely screwed. Um, for that manipulation so i think what the institutions are, are going to do is that they're going to collude with the analysts and they're probably going to do the same thing now you might call me like the alex jones of um you know i i guess st stock market technicals right but once again just looking at what so far did what they did to the stock price um i guess i'm fine with being alex jones of the stock market world so yeah um once again, still pretty bullish on, on penalty here, right? Um, and yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully someone made sense of that. And see you in the next one.